In this first section of the topic, we want to look at the definition of a wave. What is a wave? Have you heard of the term wave in your daily conversation? How has the term been used in our everyday conversation? Let us look at a few examples. The water waves in the ocean were very rough. My mobile phone cannot pick up the waves clearly. The voters are usually influenced by the political wave in the country. The city has been hit by a wave of crime in the recent past. All these sentences are grammatically correct. But the last two have not used the term wave scientifically. The first two sentences have used the term correctly as far as science is concerned. So before you can use the term wave correctly, we must define it so that its meaning will be clear. So let us look at the definition of the term wave. A wave is a disturbance in a medium which transfers energy from one point to another in that particular medium. This is the definition that we are going to adapt for a wave. But let us study it further. There are many examples of waves. The most common are sound waves and water waves. Sound waves are used to transport sound energy from one point to another point. Sound may travel through air, solids, and liquids. Air, solids, and liquids are examples of media through which sound travels. Similarly, radio waves transport electromagnetic wave energy from a transmitter to the receiver or what we commonly refer to as the radio and this wave travels through air or even a vacuum. That is why in our definition you will find that it is a disturbance which occurs in a medium and then this disturbance which occurs in the medium it is the one which is responsible for transporting this energy from one point, which is the source of that energy, to another point in the same medium. So when we talk of a wave, we must mention energy and the medium through which the energy travels. Now let's consider waves in a rope. This is a rope. It consists of particles, which could be represented by these small spheres. The spheres are colored differently because when we start the simulation, we want to concentrate on one particular particle and see how it moves. So we can disturb one side of the medium. For, for instance, I can move this side like this, up and down, and you will see that the rest of the, it forms some kind of a wave whereby now the particles, all the particles now get disturbed. When the rope at one end is disturbed, the particles at that end move, or we say they are disturbed or displaced. Due to the increased distance from their neighboring particles, they pull their neighbors and cause them to move or get disturbed too. This way, the disturbances are passed from one particle to the next until the movement of the vibrations reach the other end of the rope. And this is what we see in this simulation. Now, let me put it into oscillation instead of moving it manually. How about if we set it into oscillations? You can see this end of the rope is moving up and down. 
let's concentrate at this point it's moving up and down what that is doing is that it is affecting it, the neighboring particles also pulling them and that other particle pulls its neighbor for instance let's pause at that point I want to look at this point here. You can see the point which is moving now. It's this green particle. The, there is increased distance between it and its neighbors. It is this increased distance which pulls this particle towards it. And then when this particle moves, there is also increased distance between it and its neighbor. Like if we start and pause slightly, you will see that there is this increased distance. I've reduced the frequency so that maybe we'll be able to see these particles uh, much, much more clearly. Let me reset. I think that one now is much, much better you'll be able to see that there is wherever there is increased distance between the particles and then that is what transfers the energy from one particle to the other. You can see the way my finger is moving, the way the cursor is moving there, that is the way the energy is being transported. So the energy is being transported from the source, which is here, all the way to this particular point there. That is how the energy moves. Now, I want you to notice that the particles do not undergo any net transfer. When you look at this wave, you might think that the particles, this green particle here, it's as if it is moving to the left. Because you can see the crests are moving to the right. It's as if these particles are also moving in this other direction. But they are not moving. Let's look at another simulation. We won't concentrate on this particular particle here. When you look at it, uh, you, might be, you might get the idea or you might get the impression that it is moving to the left. Because it's obvious the energy is moving to the right, like that, where my cursor is. It's moving to the right. You might this think this particle of the medium is moving to the left, but it's not moving to the left. Neither is it moving to the right. We can tell that if we put a ruler just next to it, you can see all it does is that it moves up and down up and down about a certain particular position if i put my cursor there you'll see that it is moving to and fro about that particular position so the particles of the medium do not undergo any net transfer they just move to and fro about that particular point it's the energy which gets transferred the way my cursor is moving like that is the energy which is getting transferred by the particles of the medium do not undergo any net transfer It is important to note that the particles of the medium do not undergo any net transfer. They just move to and fro about a fixed point.